Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally hit the stop button. Um, this is where we were. I, we're going to copy this into our um, Linux files folder, which that will just be in your My Files. And uh, this is stuff that you can easily access from Linux. So then I'm going to open the terminal and hit ls, just to make sure it's still there. Looks like we're good. Okay, so to extract this, I want to type tar space, or yeah, then dash xvf, I think, and then a n k i all that okay so we're extracting this still extracting in the meantime we're going to have a new uh and key folder here. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I might be making myself sound like an idiot here. But that's fine. Nothing new. All right. How big was this? 136 megabytes. Not that big. Okay, so I'm just going to see if we can run it from uh, just the desktop here. Let's see. And key, let's try that one. No, let's, let's do this. CD and key. We do have the install there. Let's try dot slash install. When sh, probably have to put a sudo in front of there. Here we go. We are installing it. If you couldn't tell what I did there, I just did sudo space install or. Er, uh, dot slash install point sh I'll put that in the description type and key to run all right we want English yes okay now does this constitute as working? Maybe. I've never used this program before. This seems to have the standard problem that I've noticed on a lot of Linux applications, which is um, when you click on the menu, a lot of the menus show up way over here, and it's you can't even get to them. So this is a problem I've noticed with most Linux apps I've tried. On Chrome OS Flex, the, uh, the menus don't render properly. So that's really annoying. Yeah, I don't know what... So I guess the point of this app is you're making flashcards to uh, study with. Maybe. I don't know. Like, how do you look at the cards? Do you print them? I don't know. Uh, this seems like it might work. If this looks familiar to you and you consider this to be working, I'd say it does. Um, this looks like something I can make as a web app. If... Uh, I knew more about it. If you'd rather see something that looks a little nicer than this and will definitely run anywhere without Linux, I'm pretty sure I could recreate this thing. This doesn't look too complicated. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, um, maybe that'd be a fun video to do, making a uh, progressive web app for Chrome OS and other operating systems. But there's Anki. If this is working in your opinion, then it works. I don't know enough about it to say. It looks like it works. It's fairly easy to get running. So there you go. If you have other things you want me to test, you can let me know in the comments. Uh, and thank you for watching. And you know what? I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.